so excited to share with you my Magdala talk today by I Am Patterns. I'm really excited about this talk for multiple reasons. One of which is that, as you saw a second ago, it is part of a matching set. I'm very, very into matching sets lately. I think they are so much fun, so versatile. You can wear them together, you can wear them separately. Lots of options. Um, I also think there's something very like vintagey about a matching set, which I absolutely adore. Also, obviously, I love this pattern because look at all the ruffles. It's amazing. I made this out of the leftover fabric from the Chai Town chinos that I was wearing them with. Um, this was actually a vintage tablecloth, so it's kind of like a thicker, um, cottony, almost like a canvas, um, but it's not like, it's not as thick as a canvas, I guess. Um, and one of my favorite parts is that it has this really fun detail at the hem. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, the stitching of the original hem of the tablecloth that I used in the hem of my shirt, which I'm very just loving how it turned out. I love all these ruffles. Um, this is the Magdala Top by I Am Patterns, which is a French company. The instructions do come in English. However, um, they're not for the feet of heart. If you are new to sewing, I don't necessarily recommend I Am Patterns. They're drafted beautifully, but the instructions are very minimal. Think um, like big four, minimal, maybe even less minimal. I think there are only like six steps in the instructions for this, um, which I personally did not have a problem with. Um, I just wanted to note that they are not your typical super in-depth um, indie sewing pattern instructions. But don't be afraid of the French chapter because they are, they do have um, the instructions are in English. I love this. Um, <laughs> I, of course, had to use my new Tabitha Sewer buttons, and I just love the pink and yellow together. I'm very into pink and yellow right now, and true to Tabitha Sewers, um, as a testament to the quality of her buttons, as you can see, the color just really stands out. They look amazing on this top. They're nice and bold. Um, they're really thick. I feel very confident that they won't be busting or anything um, or breaking. Um, and I, yeah, I'm in love with this pattern. I opted, so the way that this is constructed is this top ruffle, there's a, um, a piece underneath the top ruffle that's flat, which is good because then you're not like, I thought it would be sewing all of this ruffle and this ruffle into the top, which would be a lot of bulk. So to eliminate bulk, they have this little middle piece here, which makes a lot of sense. And then it's covered by the top ruffle. And in the pattern, they have a flat piece that goes behind this bottom ruffle. I guess they say it's for, um, like your fabric is a little sheer, um, but I don't think it's necessary at all. Um, if you're, this could be a cute top to do in some sheer fabric because um, you could have the lining and it would cover, I think, all the important stuff from what I can tell. Um, so it would just be sheer up here and then you can maybe keep the bottom sheer. Could be interesting. Um, this fabric is obviously not sheer, so I skipped that um, back bottom piece, which they say that you could totally do. Uh, save some time on hemming by using this original hem. I will say that I wish I would have tried it on before I attached all the ruffles. I was making this at my friend Melissa's house during our um, sewing nights, and I actually didn't even notice just because I was like, oh, so much room under my arms, and she was like, oh, it's kind of big on you. Like, the, the bodice itself, where the top, it kind of comes out kind of far. Um, I don't really think it takes away from the look of the garment at all, but it might look a little more streamlined. Even it is supposed to be kind of boxy and swinging, 
but it might look a little more streamlined. Next time, I would try it on, maybe take it in under the arms a little bit so it's more fitted here and then ruffles out. Um, I did, of course, have to lower the armholes. They were a little tight on me. You guys know how I feel about that. I think I lowered them like three quarters of an inch, um, which made everything even more revered. Uh, so definitely, next time I'm going to take that in. Um, I'm not going to fix it on this one because I honestly don't think it really matters all that much and I don't feel like going in and redoing all that. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, so definitely something you would want to do before you attach the ruffles. And then you can honestly, unless you're just taking an exorbitant amount out, you could either chop off the, ruff, the same amount off the ruffles or you could just so, yeah, that is my Magdala top by I Am Patterns. I believe I searched all my seams. Yeah, all the seams are searched. Um, has a cute little collar, collar stand. Real fun, quick make. Um, this would be a really fun tack into a dress, which I think Tabitha, Tabitha um, actually did hack into a dress, so I think you can find that on her Instagram. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos of fun, colorful outfits and lots of dancing. Happy sewing!